Hi, this is Steve from 1010 Music. In this video, we will take a deeper look into the Nanobox Lemon Drop, its parameters, and live granulation. Density and size are simple concepts, but the various combinations of these two parameters are part of what makes granular synthesis so interesting. There are four extremes. Small grain size and low density. <laughs> small grain size, and high density. <laughs> Large grain size and low density. Large grain size and high density. As you can hear, these settings applied to the same wave file can produce very different results. Moving mode is similar to standard sample playback. The playhead will start at a location in the file and play at some speed until the end. In moving mode, you can adjust the start position and the speed. Loop mode determines how the playhead behaves when it reaches the end of the wave file. You can choose none, forward, or bidirectional. When fixed mode is enabled, the controls update and you can now control play position. This allows you more precise control over the playhead or current grain selection. This can be modulated in real time from an internal or external source. Window is the amount of the wave file on either side of the playhead used for grain selection. Window is an essential control in a granular synth. Close it to help you focus on a specific section of the wave file, or open it to add some unpredictability to your grain selection. Jitter applies random deviation to the timing of the triggering of the grains. At 0%, it's machine-like and smooth. At 100%, it can become chaotic. When Preserve Attack is enabled, the oscillator will grab the first transient from the top of the file and combine it with the current grain selection. This enables you to compose somewhat predictable rhythmic and melodic parts from the lemon drop and still take advantage of granular synthesis. Beat Sync is another unique parameter in the lemon drop that will help you create synced rhythms using both oscillators. When beat sync is enabled, the controls update to replace density with rate, where rate is expressed as a musical interval. Typically in granular synthesis, you don't always know exactly what you're going to get back, like you would from a standard wave oscillator. This adds to the appeal of granular synthesis. Using beat sync, however, you can set the musical interval the lemon drop will use to output the current grains. When pattern is enabled, the sound engine will add pitch variations in increments of plus or minus 12 semitones for octaves or plus or minus 7 semitones for fifths. Use pattern to add additional harmonic layers to your sound. Connect an audio source to the line in jack on the rear panel of the lemon drop. Enable live input on one or both granular oscillators. Send MIDI to the engine to hear your live source granulated in real time. The lemon drop creates a rolling 30 second buffer from the live input. The oscillator view will change to represent this and you can now adjust the various oscillator settings.
As of version 1.1, the Lemon Drop features a built-in sampler and recorder. You can sample from outside sources to granulate, or you can resample the Lemon Drop's output to use later. To access the recording features, push the right arrow button two times from the dashboard. Set the input source and gain, then touch record. When you are finished recording, touch stop. You'll find your recordings in a directory on the micro SD card. LemonDrop prefers 24 bit 48K WAV files for optimum performance. Only the first 30 seconds of your file will be loaded. Mono audio for best performance. Stereo for more possibilities. Make sure your WAV file has an attack at the very start if you plan to use Preserve Attack. Take care to prepare the beginning and end of your files if you plan to use bidirectional looping. Consider using sounds that contain a lot of varied harmonic content. Human voice or speech is a lot of fun to play with. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information on Lemon Drop or our other products, please visit us on the web at 1010music.com.